Welcome to the Octane Academy. We are here at Brian Deegan's Metal Militia Compound for the third and final episode of his Octane Academy. We started with eight contestants. Now the Academy has been whittled down to the two winners from episode one and two, Jason Lindstrom and Adam Mangus. Got to stay focused and uh, keep on powering my way to the top. I've made it this far. I'm not going to quit now. These guys are here to battle it out for a Ford F-150 SVT Raptor and a chance to represent Brian Deegan's camp in the season finale. Double hammer fist! This is the Octane Academy. We've rounded up four of Ford's biggest motorsports superstars, Brian Deegan, Ken Block, Von Gittin Jr., and Tanner Faust. They'll each host a camp to find the most talented and fearless amateur drivers out there. Go big or go home. It depends on how you want to go home. These pro drivers will put our competitors through some tough challenges to see who can win it all and become the ultimate champion on this season of Octane Academy. Oh. Yeah! Oh. In the finals here, we got Adam and Jason. This is so much fun. Jason is our oldest competitor. Hopefully, my fat ass can run around this course. <laughs> He's the poster boy for the middle-aged guy that felt like he missed his chance in life to be this action sport superstar. Oh! He is the guy that could prevail all said and done because he's the smartest one. I feel like he could be a good student because he seems to study it and learn. So I like guys like that that really will take it in. Okay. I'm ready to do anything to win this competition. Adam the Mangler Mangus. Where'd this guy come from? Go. From the first competition, he really let me down. I think I need a diaper change. And we had him straighten him out with the water truck. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Got embarrassed nationally with my ass. He really showed after that that he wanted to be a competitor. Hey, you know, you do what you gotta do to win. I'm here to friggin' win. Ow, my balls. Adam will win this episode. Victory! I think in the end, I just kind of won me over a little bit. Woo! This is a Meta Militia compound. You want to be here, you better show it. Either one of these guys could be representing my camp. I want the guy who has the ability to be trained to become the best. Anyone that's got the heart, you can mold them into what you need. So we got the right platform with the guys here in the final. The mini bike enduro cross is going to be one of the tougher challenges. The course has big logs, a big water crossing. It's got tires that you're going to go over. It's got a lot of different obstacles that are going to trip you up. So we'll see who's the better rider and who's got the, the guts just to pin it. Yeah, I'm not nervous at all going into this challenge. This is uh, what I do, ride dirt bikes. Definitely a little nervous, not the strongest on two wheels. It's, uh, it's a whole nother world here. Someone's going to die on this first hill. I have a wager on how many crashes. I don't even know if he knows how to turn oh, the gas on. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Uh -oh. oh, we got a big lead straight Challenger, away. Challenger, dude. Holy There he goes. Do the mud pit. Oh! oh the bike is still going. Oh! The juice down right now. Oh, he's closing in on him. Come on. Oh, here he comes into the whoops. Jason Lindstrom in the lead. Adam yeah. Mann out the back. Look at, this, look at that style. The human shock absorber. Finish strong. Going air the finish line. Air right, it. Here we go. Oh, oh. Oh. There we have the right there. Jason wins. Wide open. Finish strong. Go. I can't believe they made it without crashing. Holy, I didn't fall. All right, congratulations. Woo! 
Yeah. We have a winner of the mini bike in Durham. Game Jason, yeah. you will take it. But Adam, also a winner because you didn't kill yourself. Didn't yeah. kill myself, didn't hit the ground. I didn't hit the deck, man. Tried to get up over those logs and hitting that water. I thought I was going down for sure. And I had to squeeze onto the bike with my legs as best I could. And the bike rode me for sure. Coming into it, I expected to win it. And, uh, and I did. So I'm pumped. I'm ready for the next challenge. And I'm ready to drive away in my new truck. Jason, you will take a one second advantage going into the final Ford Raptor race at the end. However, there are more challenges yet to come down the pipe today. You guys ready to punch each other in the face? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Up next, I beat his face in. Stick around for our next challenge on the Octane Academy. There's some mad dogging going on here. Let it happen, Captain! Oh! Welcome back to the Octane Academy. We have the winner. Jason was victorious in the mini bike enduro cross. Yeah. Get ready to rumble. Challenge two is coming up next. This is no joke. The trampoline boxing challenge is something I really wanted to put in to my camp. I've been training MMA for the last 10 years with all the guys that we sponsor with the militia, all the pro fighters, and it's just such a good workout. It shows you, you know, who's really has the best cardio, stamina, and uh, really the most heart. When you mix those two head to head, you have a classic battle to the end. So man versus man, there's really no better sport. Add the trampoline, we're going to see how fluid they are or if they don't have any idea how to keep their balance. <laughs> I eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast. Definitely the first time I've ever fought anyone. No boxing skills whatsoever. I'm gonna win this challenge because I'm tougher than him, and I want this truck more than he does. I see this being the competition that Jason snaps. I'm gonna beat his face in. I like my nose. It's a pretty good looking nose, so let's keep it in one piece. I'm gonna bite his ear off. Two will enter, one shall leave. Oh, man, this could be the best event yet. Adam has been animated. Jason hasn't talked to anyone for the past hour. <laughs> Remember, this is for a second off of your time in the final Ford Raptor challenge. Here comes Jason. He's looking like a cross dog right now. Be on it, get mad. <laughs> I don't know, Adam. You might want to punch yourself in the face a couple times because Jason <laughs> is looking savage. Oh. Three 30-second rounds. May the best man win. Digging Bell. Let it happen, Captain. Oh, it's going oh, down. Oh, no. oh, jump, jump, baby. Bounce with me. Good jumping. <laughs> Come on. Oh, 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 man. Yeah, oh, oh, back in. There we go. Keep bouncing. Come on, this is for our new truck. Ford F-150 Raptor. No wrestling. Oh, 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 All right, it's time, it's time. Good round, good round. Judges are liking it. All right, catch your breath, man. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Doing the jump, you got to bounce. Scores are going to come from getting amplitude. I like the bounce, bounce come down on them. That's a good one. There's an aerial assault there, I saw it. You guys are straight scrappers. Digging bell time. 30 seconds. Oh, 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 back in. Oh, 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 Good one, boys. Make him tired. Do this. Adam, a little bit of a surprise there. Oh, That's man. Right. This just keeps coming at us, dude. It's good stuff. Uh, it's full on right now. These guys are pretty even. Up next. All right, here it is, the final round. Oh, yeah. 
We're back at Octane Academy. After two rounds of trampoline boxing, Jason and Adam are at a dead tie. I eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast. Round three, it's all the marbles. The winner will get a one second advantage into the final challenge, and the loser will get punched. I'm gonna win this challenge because I'm tougher than him, and I want this truck more than he does. Here it is, the final round. We have a bit of an Ivan Drago Rocky situation going on right here, huh? Uh, it's full on. Coming down to the last round, this could be the tightest competition we have yet. All right, are you ready to hit the bell? So ready, buddy. Let it happen, Captain. Round three. Oh, down, he's coming down on him. Make your face. Oh, oh, jump up, get up, get up. Oh, he's taking it. No pushing, just punching. Bounce, bounce. Don't miss him. Number three. Woo. And that is it. Guys. You guys can go throw up if you want. Come on over here, boys. Let's get these final results. All right, guys, three rounds of trampoline boxing. Deegan, do you have the judge's decision? Yes, I do. It was a split decision going into round three, all or nothing, and Adam prevailed. Woo! All right. He sort of came at me like a little spider monkey. So I thought I was going to be able to have the old man strength and land a couple of good ones. I did, but we're dead even going into the final round. And uh, no time advantage for either of us. You know, I had no expectations going to this. So to see me prevail, and I'm taking that Raptor home no matter what. We got Adam and Jason had a ton of heart. Both want to win really bad. And when you mix those two head to head, you have a classic battle to the end. So that's what we're going to see is two guys that are so close to winning the Ford F-150 Raptor. They're going to give it everything they've got. The Ford F-150 Raptor Challenge is going to be a really good way to wrap this all up. The guys are going to be in these trucks with tons of power. It's going to come down to who's got the best skill and is using their heads. So it's all down to this. It's the final challenge. I battled through three guys to get to this point. There's going to be some big consequences tonight. Blasted by a water truck, paintballs all day. I'm real excited about this. Ready to go. There you have it. Set my lap out there. I feel like it was a good lap. Fairly fast. Every fraction of a second counts. And if you drive over your head, out of your league, you're just going to blow it. Hope you have fun walking away from that truck. We'll see. We'll see. So we're here, looking down that straightaway eye of the tiger. Do you feel like a racer? Hell yeah, I do. <laughs> this is serious right now. Do I wipe that smile off your face, all right? Tear it up! All right, here we go. We got two laps to get as close to your time as possible. Let's see how it goes through the mogul section. All right, here we go over the woods. Oh, you it's coming hot! Felt that in my taint. You like that one? <laughs> you don't want to overshoot the time. I said a decent time, but not a blistering one. And if he drives over his head, he could blow it. One lap to go. There we go. Swinging it tight on the exit. Adam Magus has been the underdog all week long. <laughs> all right, here's the last turn here. He's got to use the power right there. Comes into the finish line, Adam Mangus. Definitely confident going to this. Definitely confident coming out. This is my truck right here. 
All right, Brian, so you set down a lap time of 119. Adam's time was 120.75. So right now, Jason has to come in here and beat that time. Hopefully, I can drive smoother than he does, get a closest time, and I will pull the victory. Up next, the finals conclude. What's going to happen? Game over right here. It's a nail biter to the end. Welcome back to the Octane Academy. Adam and Jason were neck and neck heading into the final challenge. But Adam laid down a near perfect time. Definitely confident going to this. Definitely confident coming out. Let's see if Jason has what it takes to better his score and win Deegan's camp. So it's all down to this. It's the final challenge. One of us is going to drive away in a new truck. I think that with some smooth driving, that it's possible to uh, take the victory right now. All right, here we go. You've made it this far, Jason. Time to warm up this truck and lay down a lap time that's close to mine, if not my match it, OK? All right, have All right. at it, buddy. Nice to see you do it. Yeah. Mr. Jason. Guy's been so quiet. Here we are, staying together in the end. He's serious. He yeah. is dead serious right now. He wants to win this so bad, and I could see him laying it down. <laughs> Gas up, gas up. Here he comes, coming in good. Don't be too, too overcautious. Got to get in that gas, get in the gas. I definitely had a better takeoff. You're driving like a Pick it up, buddy. Got to floor it. This is where Adam was getting push, really aggressive with push, these bumps push, right push, here. Push, push, push. All right, he's coming in a little hot. The RPM's up on these turns here. There he goes. The halfway point, he's got one more lap, and he's really going to need something hot here if he wants yep. to catch Adam. Pick it up, throw it in fast, throw it in there. Got to find that traction. He's kind of getting out of the main line. Game over. I got this one. Do you guys want a truck? Oh, he's getting loose out of the exit. So here he comes, catching some air. Get in the gas. Here he comes. This is it right go, now. Here we go. What's going to happen? Last jump. It's coming around the last corner to the finish line. It's a nail biter to the end. Jason yes. Lindstrom, <laughs> will it be enough to take down Adam Megas' okay. time? This is going to be okay. a close one, dude. Ain't going to be enough. I felt uh, that I had to push it a little bit harder to even get close to his time which kind of took away from the smoothness. But I uh, really got to get some air on those uh, whoops and slam it and bottom it out, so that was at least fun to do. We're going to have to get the official call. Who won this challenge? And we'll go home with a brand new 2012 Ford F-150 SVT Raptor and win Brian Deegan's Octane Academy camp. All right, guys, Adam, Jason, unbelievable Woo! race, but there can only be one winner. So, <laughs> Brian's time was 119.56. Adam's time, 120.75. <laughs> Wait a minute, sucker, sit right oh, back shit. here. <laughs> How close Jason's you time, 120.50. Yeah! When I heard my time, it was unbelievable. Adam went first on the race. I watched him. I know that he killed it. I know that he came close, very close to Deegan's time. So I just decided to give it the goose, pin it to win it, hope for the best. So that's what I did. It's, uh, it's about as close as you can get to winning, just the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. I'm beat up, I'm tired, I don't care, I'm loving it. Woo! This is unbelievable. This entire Octane Academy was above and beyond my expectations. Yeah! I definitely am still coming out of here, I feel like a winner. Like, this has been an experience of a lifetime and made me feel like I, you know, grew up a little bit from it and just got some cool experiences out of it. I eat pieces of like you for breakfast. 
everyone was really serious in their own way wanting to win this camp. So I really appreciate all the respect they had for being here at the Militia Compound. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. That was so crazy how tight it came down to the final race. I just won myself a new Ford F-150 Raptor. And I get to go compete against the winners of the other ones. We got some work to do, dude. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Give me some time with them. I think I could turn them into a decent driver, and we could go compete and battle all these other guys from all the other camps. And we're going to take the victory overall. Congratulations. For sure, this changes my life, you know? I had to wait until I'm an old man, I guess, to do it, but I, uh, I did it. Go big or go home. Well, yeah, well, it depends on how you want to go home. Right. This is definitely one of the best moments of my life. I think it was like the ultimate ending to Camp Deegan. On the next Octane Academy, rally champion and guru of Gymkhana, Ken Block, hosts his camp in snowy Utah. Welcome back to the Academy. You drive a car for a living. You live every child's dream. Where eight more aspiring drivers face off Tell my family I love them. To win a brand new Ford Fiesta and represent Ken's camp in the season finale. The goal for the end of this camp is to see who could potentially be the best driver. This is my challenge. This is my surface. Today's my day. <laughs> Here we go. Oh! Oh! Rider down on the red course. Bring a jacket. Yeah, I'm ready with the light preserver. Oh, thank down. you, Captain Steuben. <laughs> and maybe a towel. I accept the fact that my testicles might get sucked up in my body. It might get chilly. <laughs>